today I am going to share six quick tips for um, how to have a really good time at a family festival. We have been to Stendhal Music Festival in Lima Valley twice now and we're going again this year. Um, we absolutely love going camping and going to festivals with Louisa and um, although it is a bit of work, you know, and it's not... Uh, quite the same experience as you might have had you know going to Glastonbury years gone by when you didn't have kids with you it can still be really really good um, if you're prepared and know what to expect so here's my tips um, bring a potty or um, if you are very happy campers like us a portable toilet Um, the benefit of having a potty is that obviously your kids can go to the toilet at night and in the morning without having to trek through a field to find the facilities. Um, so yeah, that is a massive, massive help. It makes life a lot easier. So definitely pack the potty. The next thing I would suggest that you do is that you make a bit of a rough plan. Um, obviously festivals are really relaxed and you're having a good time. But if you have a look at the acts and the itineraries beforehand, then you know what things that you don't want to miss out on so you can make sure to sort of plan your day around those because kids need downtime at a festival you know they're on the go from early in the morning they're having a lot of fun a lot of fresh air so um, think about what you don't want to miss out on and then plan your meal times and your chill time around that so that you are all happy something else we did last year was we got some um like festival gear for lou in advance because things like capes and flags and flower necklaces and crowns and all that business you know it can really add up especially if you have a couple of kids you're bringing with you so if you grab some of that stuff from like b m or poundland or whatever in advance then you've already got it and then you can maybe just get them you know one treat at the actual festival before you go you should also find out what kind of food vendors that they have on site um and whether or not they take card or only cash um, especially if you've got kids with allergies you want to be able to plan for their um, meals obviously we always bring cereal bars and fruit and those little kids fruity snacks which are great for like a grab and go breakfast so you can just get started in the morning the other packing tip I have is to pack layers um, especially for your kids you know festivals are brilliant especially when they're outdoors and there's loads of activities kids can get messy and there's a lot of freedom which is absolutely brilliant and I think you should embrace that but nobody has fun if they are stuck in soggy clothes especially a three-year-old um so yeah if you have like plenty of spare leggings and you can just quickly get them changed and there is no hassle and last but not least you should stay flexible um, at a family friendly festival even your routine is still going to go out the window you know there's still going to be noise at night even in a dedicated family camping area and kids are going to be out of their normal routine so just embrace it um, and have fun and you can catch up on your sleep the next week but trust me it's definitely worth it so now here is a little look at uh, the, our time at Stendhal last year it was absolutely brilliant so um, I hope you enjoy kind of seeing our perspective of the festival hey the Mr. Sam Solstice can we be friends catching eyes and captivating your face it tripped me up i've had to hide that i wanted to kiss you i've never felt this way 